was in Norwood, Massachusetts, visiting my girlfriend's sister. And we spent the evening uh, just watching TV. It was a wonderful primetime event. You know, we just spent the whole night in front of the TV. I don't remember. Um, there was this expectation that it was going to happen, you know, so, and um, it was just, um, just, uh, I was, I think, more amazed at the uh, communication from the moon to the earth, that that was all working so well and we could actually have TV pictures. We didn't know much about the, you know, the issues with landing and there seemed to be a, uh, I, I was surprised how quickly they went out after they landed. Uh, that, that Armstrong, you know, went out on, on the moon. Uh, that happened, I, it seems to me it just happened within an hour or so after they got there. It definitely was a, 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 a time of pride and, and I'm just an amazement that technologically that we could, we could do it. It was a sense that, you know, that everything was going to happen at that time. You know, we'd be having flying cars soon and and <laughs> all diseases would be cured and and wars would be ended and uh, all that sort of thing. Well it was obviously summer vacation. I recall vividly the whole um, um, news story and following it for months in advance because the m exciting thing was the launch and um, then there was the two or three days We'd already been through it three times with Apollo shots that went to the moon and circled it and came back. And um, I remember it was all very exciting when the news came in. And uh, I recall seeing the television broadcast. And, I, and they hadn't told us that we're, it was going to be something we could watch. I thought it was just going to be a, um, a radio link. But sure enough, somehow they had rigged it so there was a camera on one of the legs of the lander and you actually saw a, um, a recognizable picture of someone descending the ladder and then saying those famous words, which we really couldn't figure out what it was he said because there was a right in the middle of it. One small um, step for kind, and you know. Uh, That's one small step for man. We all said, that must be something really important, um, those words. And indeed, they, they became you know, an iconic line that we remember to this day. The Apollo space landing. Uh, I was 11 at the time, and this was the Apollo 11 of the Apollo programming. And uh, I do remember that there had been some disasters up into that time frame. I was living in Carborough. And really close to Carborough is Moorhead Planetarium. That is one of the oldest observatories, one of them. In, uh, it was like built in the 40s in America. So obviously, I, you know, we went there often. And I do remember some kind of science field trip, even though it was summer. I still remember going. I remember having to draw the moon and draw the craters because they were going to land in one of the larger craters. And, uh, and I believe the name of it was the Sea of Twin, uh, Tranquility. Um, I remember the little footprint, you know, everybody remembers the little footprint and the, uh, and you know, the eagles landed. I remember some of the words and the quotes. Base here. The eagle has landed. But I really think I was most fascinated by the capsule uh, coming in and splashing into the ocean. I remember that part and how they had to hook the large straps and lift the capsule up on the ship and opening the doors and, uh, you know, and Armstrong and Colin and um, I'm not sure the third person's name, but I know the two and, and them stepping out and everybody, you know, happy that they all made it safely. So, and I think that's about all I remember. I was at the, at the beach with my family and my father, back in the olden days, you go to the beach and there wasn't necessarily a television there. So my dad took the old black and white TV down there and we were staying at a beach house at North Myrtle Beach and it was a little black and white TV. And so I was nine years old. And what I remember more about it than anything else is the reaction of my mother and my father who were just absolutely amazed by the whole thing. 
And for me and my little sisters and my little brother, it wasn't exactly like science fiction, but um, it might as well have been because it was a very, very blurry image, of course, and it was black and white TV, you know, everything was back in those days. And the picture's been enhanced now. It's been cleaned up and digitized or whatever. But back then, you know, it was all over the air television. And so it was somewhat mystical anyway because it was sort of blurry and, and hard to see. But um, we had followed all the space shots anyway because we used to watch them in school. Our teachers would bring the, an ancient TV in the classroom and we would watch them shoot the rockets off. Obviously when they landed, um, it was more interesting because it was something different. But what I remember more than anything else is that my mom and dad were just absolutely amazed by the whole thing. Well, at the time I was 16 years old, and in high school, it was a big buildup. Uh, a black and white television was wheeled in on a cart, and we stopped the day and watched. It also seemed clear that it was a life and death situation for the astronauts. They were tethered and so far away that it was hard to imagine that they were actually going to come back. Um, but there was a lot of hype before as well, so it, it wasn't a letdown in any way, but there was so much excitement that a lot of us kind of became, I guess, oh well, there it is. In 1969, I was dating my current wife. Uh, we were at Atlantic Beach and we had been anticipating the landing because TV was talking about it. We were sitting in the living room watching a very small black and white television as uh, uh, the lunar module landed and uh, we were pretty excited about it. I mean, it's, it was something new and, and, and different and uh, so we were pretty excited about the whole situation, although we'd been hyped quite a bit that it was going to happen, and we had been following the launch and uh, them circling the moon. And uh, so it was, a, it was a good night. And it was pretty great to see Neil Armstrong step off and you know, say the famous saying about giant step. And it was great TV.